Hey guys, Maureen here and welcome back. So today is the Apple Watch Ultra Day. It's actually last Friday, but today is my Apple Watch Ultra Day. I have it here. It's finally here. So we're going to be unboxing it and I will tell you my initial impressions since I tested this yesterday while hiking at the North Country Trail. I will also be unboxing some 45mm bands here. Let's see if it fits for the Apple Watch Ultra. So this is the unboxing here.
with the battery life. My husband and I loves to hike, we like to camp, and also backpacking. The one thing that worries me whenever I go camping, especially backpacking, is running out of battery and I always carry this heavy battery charger which is not very convenient when you're backpacking because you want to pack light. As soon as I saw this being introduced last September 7 during the Apple event. We set out to create an Apple Watch designed specifically for exploration, adventure, and endurance. And it's extraordinary. This has been years in the making and we can't wait to show it to you. I was so happy and was interested to get it and wanna try it. So the 36 hours of battery life is the one that got me to buy this Apple Watch Ultra, which can take up to 60 hours of battery life in low power mode. This actually could save me from carrying a heavy friggin battery charger when backpacking so that's really awesome it looks really chunky it looks heavy duty but it feels lighter weight for what it looks it's super lightweight I think it's lighter than my stainless steel Apple watch one thing I've noticed on the Apple watch ultra video there is this man underwater diving and wearing his Apple Watch Ultra over his sleeve. Yesterday I went hiking. I used it over my sleeve but it's super annoying because it's asking me constantly my passcode which is not super convenient when you want to tap your watch and it's asking a passcode. And I even tried it on my thin rash guard and it does not work as well. So since the Apple Watch requires skin contact for it to know that you're using it, I think the only way that you could keep it from asking you the passcode constantly is to turn off the passcode on the settings of your Apple Watch and seem to be working fine for me. So another feature of the Apple Watch Ultra that I like is the compass waypoint feature. So I do a lot of hiking and I, I have a big hiking trip coming this October. My husband likes to be lost in the woods, like off the trail. When we did backpack in North Manitou Island, we hiked there and we got off the trail, which is not a good idea, but we did because we want to do a shortcut instead of doing the whole loop of North Manitou but the trail, it, there's no trail <laughs> actually it's the map of North Manitou is telling you there is a trail but it is an old road and I don't know, long story short so we followed this road and we ended up getting lost this Apple Watch Ultra that uses coordinates to record where you've been and it backtracks, retraces your steps so you're not gonna get lost into the wild. So that feature amazes me so that's why I got this. No more getting lost in the wild or even a big parking lot. I don't do a lot of crazy hikes like super far from the civilization but I just want to mention about the new feature for the Apple Watch Ultra is the siren, the signal for help. So this is very helpful for people who are very crazy in hiking, like want to get off the trail or farther away from, yeah, from the city. Like nobody knows where you were. You need help. This siren feature is very helpful in that certain situation. New Apple Watch Ultra has a temperature sensing. This is really good for women who tracks their cycle. For your information, I don't really use my Apple Watch while sleeping so this feature is useless for me. But the sleep tracking actually works. Even if I don't use my Apple Watch Ultra while I'm sleeping, it knows 
when I'm taking it off before bedtime and it knows when I put it on and it measures how long I've slept. ECG and heart health notifications. I really like this feature because it helps people that has heart problems. So the next feature that is super cool is the crash detection. This crash detection is available for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the Series 8, and the SE. It automatically calls and provides location for emergency services and even notifies your emergency contacts. So guys, I just figured this out. This is actually available for the Apple Watch Series 4 or later. So the first time I washed my hand using the Apple Watch Ultra, it started a timer for me, which is awesome. As a consumer in a dental field, hand washing feature is very convenient, making sure that I'm washing my hand properly because hand washing is critical for reducing the risk of transmitting organisms. Clean hands actually protects me and my patients. That is an awesome feature. And I've never noticed that on my Apple Watch Series 7. In conclusion, do I recommend the Apple Watch Ultra? Yes. This is not just for you who is a regular hiker or just a normal hiker like me. A traveler probably who likes to go to new places or even you who constantly forgets where you park your car. So I definitely recommend the Apple Watch Ultra. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and night and I will see you on my next one. Bye!